We're here at the ASHP Summer Meetings 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're talking with John Murphy, who is the author of the new ASHP book, uh, Basic and Applied Pharmacokinetics Self-Assessment. There. Thank you, John. So, John, tell us a little bit. How did the idea for this book come about? Well, I've been teaching uh, basic and applied pharmacokinetics for over 30 years now, and this basically came about through the types of homeworks that I had given to students and learning about how they struggled with it and the types of issues that caused them to have difficulty in learning. And so we put this together as a way to both uh, stretch the minds of those who haven't done pharmacokinetics in a long time and also to be available to students as they work their way through a particular course. Yeah. What is the uh a reader, a buyer, going to find in this book that really they can't find any place else? I think the main benefit to this is the opportunity to attempt the problems. You have quick solutions. If you get it right, you move on. If you struggle with a particular one, then you can go back and see the actual problem solution. We also have added links to videos that were developed to help explain some of the concepts for the particular drugs and also the basic areas of both basic and applied pharmacokinetics. Hmm, thanks. John, you're well known for, you know, two books in this area now. Uh, what sparked your interest in this topic? Over the years teaching in uh, particularly clinical pharmacokinetics, led me to understand there was a need for the first book that we put out, the Clinical Pharmacokinetics, uh, that's now in its fifth edition. And that book was designed to give people population values that they could then plug into equations and use to predict doses or concentrations from doses that patients are already receiving. And uh, as a companion to that, this then gives students and practitioners the opportunity to apply that type of knowledge with problems that are taken from real type patient cases and to use that then to apply on their own to patients that they see and drug concentration mm -hmm. measurements when they're available at their institution. How about your experiences both in teaching this subject to students over the years and to practitioners? What do you see as kind of common lessons or trends or patterns that you see in your teaching experience? I've always tried to make pharmacokinetics as simple as possible. Obviously there are fairly complicated equations and students and practitioners need to understand how to use those, but many of the concepts are fairly straightforward and I like students and practitioners to understand that they can use the simpler approaches and figure out how to provide optimum dosing for patients. Great. John, thanks for your time. You're very welcome.